Today we're gonna take a look at Kiri Engine's new update and all the exciting new features that came with the 3.9 release. 3D scanning and 3D scanning apps in particular are getting a lot of attention nowadays and with the rise of augmented reality and AI technology, their development is only advancing faster and faster. And for those of you who follow the channel, you know that I covered this topic a lot of times. And the ones who keep up with our videos know that Kiri Engine is one of my favorite 3D scanning apps out there. And I have talked about it before many times. In a nutshell, Kiri Engine is a photogrammetry based 3D scanning app for Android and iOS devices. And it is one of the most reliable and affordable photo scanning applications out there on the market. The great thing about Kiri is that all processing and calculations are done on the server side so you don't have or you don't need a great phone to use it all you need to do is take as many pictures of your subject or object and from as many angles as possible and wait for the Kiri engine to do its magic and for those who are familiar with Kiri engine the first thing that you will notice is a new update with its major rework to the app UI now the user interface is simpler and easier on the eyes with the amazing community scan highlights. Also, it is now showing on the home page, making accessing these highlighted scans a lot easier. Also, the upload limit for photos has been increased from 70 to 100 for the free plan, which is great, and from 200 to 300 for the pro plan. In addition, free users can now upload photos for photo scan mode from their local library for processing of both mobile versions and the web platform which was only available for pro users. And for me personally, I think this is a great addition too. Kiwi Engine also received a massive backend overhaul because the processing time for 3D Gaussian splatting is now reduced drastically, allowing for a shorter waiting time. And if you don't know what Gaussian splatting is, check the video we created about Gaussian splatting to know more about this new technology. Also, this new update came with object masking tool, which has been added. This tool, in a nutshell, offers more consistent masking results from the previous versions of Kiri. You also have improved quad retopo and PBR generation using AI. So now you can have the option for editing the generated quad meshes in the advanced export settings, as well as including PBR material generation for your different 3D scans. Furthermore, you have new updates like advanced export settings and two main features that we will talk about in a minute, which are exclusive to the pro version. The free version, on the other hand, will still get the increased photo limit and the new UI, of course. Now, for the fun part, the Curie Engine update offers new exciting features and one that I'm dying to try out and play around with. The auto rigging generation is a hot new feature that is supported by Curie, and the tool allows the generation of simple skeletal animation rigs for exported scans. This new feature has been tested on multiple scanned objects, varying from figurines, toys, or even random shapes, and the results can speak for themselves actually. After testing, the tool has shown its ability to rig even some random and weird objects. And with the advances in AI and 3D scanning tools, features like this one, I think, are bound to start showing up. And I am happy that Kiri is actually in the forefront of those advances, which is really exciting. Generally, 3D scanning mostly offers static results, at least as far as asset creation is concerned. And asset creation through scanning is already the industry standard. Still, in some ways, it requires a lot of manual editing, cleaning, and rigging afterward. Generally speaking, the auto rig generation is a really good addition to the pipeline, because who doesn't want their models to be rigged with a push of a button? And now, you can export 3D scan models with automatically generated scalar rigs, allowing you to directly use these digital replicas or real-life objects in lively animations. So, in essence, anything can now come to life and start moving. Last but not least, I'm gonna touch on Kiri's most advanced feature to date, which is the featureless object mode that was introduced in 2023 as a revolutionary 3D scanning tool with neural surface reconstruction, which has received a new upgrade. Now, with the newly improved NSR algorithm, the input threshold is significantly decreased while increasing the output details. And you can now also see great results with highly reflective surfaces and, in particular, transparent ones, which are results the previous versions has struggled with. And for me personally, this is a big jump because that was a big problem in 3D scanning. 
Now, if you want to try Kiri, you can do so for free by heading to the Android or the App Store and downloading the application to your smartphone. Using the free account, you can scan as many objects as you want, but you only get three exports each week. That being said, the new feature is added with the new update, and the other updates are more than enough to try Kiri and see what you can do with it. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.